Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. As many interested candidates begin their search for radiology schools, they are saddled with the daunting task of trying to figure out which programs will best work for them. Although it is true that radiology programs are competitive and the slots are limited, it would behoove potential students to investigate the integrity of the program. In this video, we are not intending to discredit any institution, and we understand that there are many great programs that can be exceptions to the rule. We are simply empowering you to recognize good programs when you see them. Here are six characteristics to look for in x-ray schools. Number one, the school is hospital or university based. This generally goes without saying as a standard for accredited schools. Radiology programs across the United States are, in most cases, based within a college or university or sponsored by a hospital. This is the standard because these host establishments have the resources to provide the necessary means and materials for adequate training. They harbor strategic relationships and provide clinical access to proper training environments. Number two. The program has both didactic professors and clinical coordinators. In a radiology program, there are a lot of moving parts. Curriculum, comprehensive testing, clinical training, clinical rotations, and more. It is important for instructors to understand the demands and limitations of running such programs. Number three, the program provides access to multiple modalities. To receive comprehensive training in radiology, schools should provide rotations in the modalities that are standard in medical imaging departments. These include general diagnostics, mobile x-ray, fluoroscopy, ER, OR, CT, MRI, ultrasound, nuclear medicine, and special procedures. Additional areas that would be beneficial are cardiac catheterization and radiation therapy. Number four. The program provides access to multiple facilities. Even if a program offers many modalities, it is beneficial for students to experience different clinics and hospitals to understand the workflow, different patient populations, demands of the department, and varying image protocols. This offering alone prepares students for adaptation to new environments. Number five, ASRT recognition. This goes without saying that a student should only attend programs that are endorsed by the American Society of Radiologic Technologists. As a reminder, these are 24 month long programs that include clinical rotations and classroom studies. In order to administer x-rays in hospitals and primary markets in the United States, a professional must complete this course of study. If a program has yet to obtain this recognition from the ASRT, or a school has lost their accreditation, the prospective student attends the school at their own risk, possibly compromising their ability to obtain certification. Number six, the school has a strong track record for registry testing. After students complete their schooling and training, they are then required to pass the National ARRT Registry Exam. They must achieve a score of 75 or higher to pass the exam. Currently, 11% of all graduates fail the examination. Although this seems low, this figure may vary from school to school. Therefore, prospective students should inquire about the passing rates of outgoing RTs. A program that yields above the national average reflects stellar training and focused learning. That concludes this episode of Six Characteristics to Look For in X-Ray Schools. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.